Hi everyone, it's me, Lily, again with another makeup tutorial. So this morning I was thinking something came to my mind and I said, hey, I want to do something with silver today with a little bit of gold, but mainly like neutral toned colors, okay? So for all you neutral girls out there who like neutral tones, this is a makeup tutorial for you. But there's going to be a pop of drama to it because you know I like my drama girls and boys. I know you guys like to wear your makeup too. So I'm going to be using the Morphe and Meredith Duxbury palette. As you see, I've used this palette in most of my videos. Okay. It has different shades. I'm going to be using this shade mainly today. Okay. The silver shade, the golds, and maybe this like white shimmer silver toned it has like a little bit of silver tones to it and i'm going to be using the astro the afro galactic palette from juvia's place um i'm going to be going in with this gray color okay so i'm going to be using this gray color as well if i feel the need to use any other colors but those are the dominant colors i would like to use for the look today i already did a backdrop colors where i use like neutral tones orangey um burnt orange lighter brown tones to like blend out the background the transitional color and i'm going to be going in with some glitter as well with the cara beauty palette um the electric disco okay it has some silver tone shades and some different tones different colors but mainly like the you know holiday silvers and golds i'm going to try to use some of those okay so Hi everyone, once again, it's me, Lily. Um, I welcome all viewers here, men included, even if you're straight, right? Um, I'm including you guys in the video, even if it's just for you guys to see some titties or, you know, just wanting to see a woman do her makeup, whatever the case may be, is I welcome everybody here, okay? Just don't be a creep, okay? <laughs> but I also want to make this a channel where we could all discuss about different things i want it to be open to um everyone i just want to be able to have communication with you guys you guys let me know how you feel about certain things what videos you would like to see but also just to get to know who's watching my videos as well so i'm going in with a flat edge brush while i talk okay guys and i'm going to dip it in the silver color from the meredith duxbury palette okay any silvers that you have that's glittery you can use so yeah, I want to get more feedback from the people who are watching my videos. I just want to get more input on where you guys are from, who are watching, where are you guys from, um, what kind of videos you like to see in my channel. Do you like the beauty videos? Do you like the tarot readings? What would you like to see more of? Um, also, just to have general talk, you know, um, to get the male perspective and a woman's perspective on things. So what came to my mind this morning was like dating, right? Dating is something that a lot of people wanna do. Um, and then I'm popping this silver white shimmer color, the white glam, um, sorry, it's called hot glam, sorry, hot glam from Meredith Duxbury. Any cream color with shimmer in it with a flat edge brush. So I wanted to get input on how the dating scene is for you guys and where you, wherever, what, what town, whatever country you guys are in. How is the dating scene for you guys? Have you run into any um, roadblocks or nuances as far as the dating scene? You know, has it been super challenging for you? Um, what have been some of the challenges? What leave it like a dating story in the comments below i'm curious to know like if you went on a date recently or if you've dated um what happened on a date that was like completely creepy to you or somebody did something really wild that you're like what the fuck is wrong with this person you know like talk to me i want to know what your dating stories are so i'm going in with the glittery gold colors in the palette and i'm putting it on my crease and I'm doing kind of like the rainbow effect where I'm like making a rainbow going from one end to the next. And I'm just doing subtle patty motions. So yeah, um, I live in New York, for those who don't know. I live in New York and um, 
it's been difficult with the dating scene. You know, I recently am, well, I'm going through something right now, right? So um, I recently had a relationship. I'm now departed from that relationship. And I am dating. I've been dating since the end of that relationship. Um, but it's still been difficult because, you know, even though I've met some quality people, I wouldn't say that they were the worst of the worst. Um, it still has been kind of frustrating because, you know, we just don't have the same goals. Or sometimes I just feel like guys in my situation, I like men. So, um guys tend to lie a lot about their situation they might say hey i'm single you know i'm a single man um and then i'm going in with the afro galactic this matte gray color guys talking and doing makeup <laughs> so yeah um sometimes they lie about their situation they say that they're single all the way they're not in a relationship they're not bogged down they're not tied down to anybody they're not dating anyone too seriously right now all because they are all in love or in like or in lust with you so they're gonna tell you what you want to hear and then later on if you don't do your research you will come to find that they've been with the one all along they've been in a serious relationship they have kids they have a whole family and things of that nature right so that's what I've noticed a lot that there's like a lot of men who are not transparent who don't keep it real and I think and you guys could comment down below that women appreciate a man who just keeps it real you know keep it real with me if you're dating other people and you're you know still trying to figure out what you want as far as you know your ideal partner goes say that like hey I'm still dating I'm exploring my choices I'm trying to you know I liked a word that this guy used a phrase that this guy used that I was talking to at one point he said I was wife shopping, right? Wife shopping mean that he's not looking for some random get together with some girls. You know, he's not looking to just date for fun. He's looking for a marriage. He's looking for commitment. He's looking for somebody he could build a family with. Okay. And when he said that, automatically that got my attention. And I know a lot of men say that just to get women's attention, but I sincerely believed him because the conversation we had was very intricate. Like, I saw he meant business just by the way he, um, his body language, his position, the way he was speaking, the questions he was asking was different from, like, other questions that guys would ask, you know? A lot of times guys ask silly questions like, hey, when can we hang out? And I'm like, hang out? I just started talking to you, like, yesterday. Like, okay, we can hang out, but are you going to take me on a date? What do you mean by hang out? Oh, you could come over and we could get some, you know, I'll get you some food, Uber Eats, you know, um, get you some food and you could chill with me in the house, in the crib, whatever, your house, my house. I'm like, Negro, no, I don't want that. Okay, I don't want to be chilling at nobody's house right away until I get to know who you are. And then we can take it from there. First, let's start by doing something casual. It doesn't have to be a super duper fancy date. But in New York right now, it's super cold, right? We're in winter time, and nobody wants to be outside. So I would say, like, even if you wanted to go to the park with the person and get to know them a little bit better, walk and talk, get catch a, you know, get some something to eat and go to the park or something like that, do a little picnic setup, a picnic vibe. That's cute. But in the winter time, of course, people want to be inside. You know, if you go to a restaurant, you don't even have to spend mad money on the person. You don't have to even spend a whole bunch of money. And I'm going in with the darker tone grays. These are matte grays in the Meredith Duxbury palette. I'm going in between these colors. Okay. All right. So, yeah, um, we could even do something simple. We don't have to do expensive date. You know, some girls, I know there was a big craze on Instagram recently about women complaining about going to the Cheesecake Factory or... TGIF or um, Fridays, the restaurant, um, Apple, Applebee's, you know, they were complaining about those things as far as first dates go or dates in general. And people were complaining like, no, I ain't going on no date if you're going to take me to the Cheesecake Factory. Me, I love food, okay? So um, as long as it's not no McDonald's, no fast food, nothing real cheap, real ghetto, 
like i'm cool with that for a first date you know we're getting to know each other you could get a lot of food <laughs> that's what i think about you could get a lot of food for a decent amount um a decent um for what do you call it for a decent cost so why not <laughs> <laughs> so that's why i'm thinking in my head like that's not a big deal to me as long as you know you see potential after we get to know each other if we see potential we could both reciprocate we could both take each other out we could both do things with one another we could both take each other to different places it doesn't have to be one person doing more than the other okay it could be reciprocal but when you're dating and you're starting to get to know someone in the first week, you shouldn't be asking, in my opinion, woman, and guys too, you could comment down below. You don't you shouldn't be asking someone to go to their home. You shouldn't be asking, hey, could I spend some time with you behind closed doors? If you're looking for that and the other person's looking for that, go ahead. But if the person says, Hey, I'm looking for something serious and they're showing through their actions and their, you know, their time that they're not looking to just have sex with you. They're looking to actually get to know you. Like, if you're not on the same trajectory, if you're not on the same path trajectory with them, don't do it. Like, leave them alone, you know? Don't even entertain them for hopes to get pussy or get penis, whatever. Like, don't do that just for your own selfish desires. Don't waste somebody's time. If you know somebody's serious about what they want, let them get what they want from somewhere else. Don't, I know a man's got to try, okay? Because men are hunters. They're going to try to get in, your, in those jeans or your undies or whatever. They're going to try to get in your pants nonetheless. I'm just adding a little smokiness with the gray. They're going to try to get into your pants and they're going to try to... They're going to always try, okay? We know that. Some women, they're going to try. They're going to try to get what they want. They're going to try to get money from you. They're going to try to get a trip from you, some women, you know? So it depends. But at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of the air could be um, cleared if we're all upfront and honest with one another, right? If we just say, hey, I am looking to um, just date right now. Not too seriously. You seem cool, but um, I don't really know where things are going to go. And I'm using a gold um, eyeliner okay it's a metallic liquid liner from LA colors and I'm going in a crease with this okay guys yeah so you could say I'm looking to date but I don't want anything too serious right now give realistic expectations to whoever you're talking to be real be upfront why do people feel the need to be so um like lie like why you have to say hey yeah i'm interested in this i'm interested in something serious i want commitment now if you don't want commitment now you know you just got out of a relationship or you're still married to someone and you ain't looking for none of that you're just looking for a fun time be honest man like be honest just say that i mean you might want to say it in a nicer way because no girl is going to be like too fond of you saying hey you just want to get in them jaws you know but you could say it in a way where it's like, yeah, I'm not looking for anything too, too serious. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. Um, if you are married and dating, <laughs> which is a lot of the situations now, people who are married and they're living with their partner, but they're still acting like they're a single person, men and women. OK, and I'm using a dark liner. This is optional. If you want to keep it neutral, keep it like this. You don't need to put the liner on, guys. Like I always say. Or you could put um, a gold or a brown liner. Something softer toned. More subtle. I'm going in with the waterline with it. Okay. So you could just tell them. Hey. I'm in a situation. Or whatever the case may be. Or e even if you don't want to tell them that you're married. You could just say. Hey. I'm just looking for a good time. I'm looking for someone who I could chill with. On occasions. And blah blah blah. If they ask you if you're married and you lie and say you're not, then that's wrong. You know, you should tell them, yeah, I am married. Give them an opportunity to say if they want to talk to you or if they don't want to talk to you, knowing that information. Because believe it or not, some women and some men are okay if you are married. If you're a married woman or if you're a married man, they're okay if you are married. 
they just want you to be honest maybe they're in a situation too sometimes they're married and they want to um have fun as well so um with whoever so just be honest with one another you never know you know but to lie to someone and make someone believe that they have an interest an invested interest in you they want the same thing that you're looking for as far as relationships stability and they really don't i think is wrong i mean using the anastasia beverly hills mascara is wrong i don't care what you say it's wrong you should just keep it real and let people get give up people give people a chance to um want something or not want something do you want to you know be friends with benefits do you just want to be cool knowing the information i just told you be honest why not okay and i'm going in with luster and iconic i'm using my finger I'm dabbing it in the center the first half of my eye and kind of spreading it out with my finger okay and you could use any of the shimmer colors that you like Yeah, so just I just feel like with dating, please guys and women, be honest about what you want. What are your intentions? If you're just looking to have fun and even if it's just to get like, you know, a free meal, right? <laughs> Cuz there's some girls who just want to be have a free meal. Just say that, you know? Don't waste people's time or money or anything like that. You know, just tell the person, be honest, be transparent. Okay? So this is the look. With the gold liner. Sorry, guys. It's hard to talk about an interesting conversation, in my opinion. Okay? And you could put that gold liner. This gold liner is not the best, but um, you could do more than one swipe of it in the crease with the gold, if you want, to get more of a dramatic effect. But yeah, just keep it 100, guys. Um, Be honest when you're dating, even if it hurts. Because you never know. Maybe somebody might be down with whatever you're looking for. Whatever setup you're looking for. Whatever arrangement. They may be down. And if they're not, don't be desperate. There'll be other people out there. For real. Alright, so I'm coming back with the finished look, guys. And please comment down below your dating stories and your experiences. Do you guys vibe with me? Are you guys feeling the same way I'm feeling? Like, what's the man's perspective on this? And what's the woman's perspective on dating? at this time because it's not it's not cute to lie just be honest that's the message that i have for everybody today be honest <laughs> all right guys so this is the finished eye makeup look okay so there's golds there's some silver there is darker grays in the crease and the outer crease as well a matte um gray that i used to go over the gray the gold liner okay so um that's just the finished look you could taper it down you could use you know just more silver colors if you don't like the orangey color in the background that's optional but this is the look i was going for so this is the look for today um thank you all for watching and please like i was just talking about with the dating stuff i want to know people's perspectives on the dating experiences Please let me know down below how are you feeling as a man, as a woman, whoever, well, whoever you like, whoever you like to date, whoever your interest is, how do you feel the opposite sex or the same sex is in regards to dating? Um, what is your position on things? How is it like dating in New York? If you are from New York, um, if you're from another city, how has dating been in that city? If you're another from another country how's that been and i welcome you guys it's great if it's people from other countries watching this video um please let me know your experiences and also please let me know what other makeup videos you would like to see in the future i am more than willing to um you know work with people and see what they would like to see moving forward um later on i'm going to be posting a sagittarius reading because um somebody did request to do a tarot reading on Sagittarius so for all you Sages out there I am doing a reading for you guys today and please watch my other readings as well makeup tutorials are on you know I'm trying to get content out at least once or twice a week you know if I could do it every day and have time I'm gonna do it so you know continue to 
See, I got glitter from the palettes on my clothes, but it's fine. This is just my temporary wear before I put on my clothes. So yeah, so even if you're just watching just for support or just to watch the boobs, like I said in the beginning of the video, thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> and if you like the, the makeup look, I appreciate it too. Okay, so that's the eye makeup. Wing liner, that's my thing, my go-to. And um, yeah, so comment down below and I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Okay, bye. I hope everybody has a blessed day.